killer is dead. Killer is Dead is a hack and slash game originally made for the PS3 and Xbox 360 but was finally ported to PC. It was created by Grasshopper Manufacture and Suda51, which are also the creator of Killer7 for PS2, Lollipop Chainsaw, and Shadow of the Dam for PS3 and Xbox 360. If you know these games, then you probably know that we are up for another surreal and crazy experience that this game will give to us. You play as Mondo Zappa, a newly recruited member of Brian's Execution Firm who is run by Brian Roses, who is half cyborg and retired executioner. It is an agency and referred as the country's first line of defense. They take requests from clients from around the world, although let's say some of them are not from the earth. But well, they all have problems regarding killers who are consumed by the dark side of the moon and Brian tasks Mondo to kill and behead them for a contract. Mondo also gets help from his co-executioner Vivian Squall at some point, same with his assistant Mika Takekawa when he is down. The story revolves around Mondo, who struggles as he lost some parts of his memories and there's this woman who haunts his dreams every night. He is also being consumed slowly by the darkness as the story progresses as he craves for more blood. And don't forget his rival, who wears a goddamn slave suit, armor and calls himself a king. What? Well, yes, it's... I know. It is pretty hard to understand unless you go digging the interweb for an in-depth backstory as the story only makes sense when the game was almost finished. As a result, the other missions don't feel connected with the main plot nor as to Mondo. It felt like a lengthy side mission rather than an actual main mission. But Killer's Dead is an episodic type of game, so just like an anime which we all know, some episodes are not really connected at all. It's more like a filler or something like that. Nevertheless, the mission always gives something bizarre and mind-blowing to the players, which is a huge plus. I mean, look at this shit. Seriously, that's crazy, right? <laughs> Keeping that aside, all the killers are all unique on their own ways, and I've really enjoyed fighting them, but like I said, some missions just don't feel connected with the main plot, which makes the story felt short when it ended. But to be honest, the ending was overall a lot closer and is truly one of the game's weak point. As if you were misled on thinking that it would have 5 more episodes or so, mainly because the story is becoming more interesting and then it suddenly hit you with the credit roll. Yeah, I know what you feel. It's quite frustrating as it leaves out tons of unanswered questions. But truly, it really has quite an interesting plot with several hiccups here and there. Like, who are the first two guys you killed? What's the origin of the dark side of the moon? And how do people live there? Where did Vivian come from? Etc. Etc. There's a lot of questions hanging. Well, yeah, it's lacking background story for the supporting characters, but it just shows that developers focus more on Mondo story and progress more than anything. Graphics-wise, well, I am not going to blubber a lot of things about it, but I must say, it is gorgeous. I like the art style, and the characters look very detailed too. The level design on each missions are remarkable, though some of it are underutilized and generic, but many really stand out among the others. One thing I hate is how the side mission just used the same recycled maps and there was nothing new to it except the new game mechanics. Lazy devs, I know. Dang it. There are two types of cutscenes which is all CGI and the one with cartoonish look. CGI cutscenes is mostly used in the game while the cartoonish looks are for introduction to the clients. I really like how they did it actually, it adds unique flavor to the game. How about the gameplay? Well, at most part, this is a hack and slash game, so as far as the genre goes, the player will probably be smashing the same buttons all the time for this game. The combat mechanics are too simple that all you have to do is press the slash button and when the enemy attacks, you just have to press the dodge button, which really looks cool, I must say. Especially when you time it right because you can make an awesome counter in which you slice the enemy so fast, which is utterly satisfying. It never gets boring. You can also do a one-hit kill by pressing two buttons at the same time, which is so overpowered as it can kill most enemies in a step, but it does cause a blood, so you have to use it wisely. 
There are also button smashing parts and the oh so annoying stun attack by the flying gunner which can leave you dizzy and has to roll the analog stick. You can also buy some upgrades and new features when you get enough moon crystal. There's also a giggle mission which you pervert loves wherein you give gifts to girls by buying it to the store using your money to earn their love which leads to cutscenes you've been waiting for if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's creepy. You can also unlock challenges by doing certain things in episodes or by finding the hot nurse Scarlet who is hiding in destructible things but in my honest opinion doing the challenges are frustrating unless you really dedicate time and if you really want to get more costumes and lingerie for the gigolo missions other than that it's not really that rewarding the side missions are particularly weak too as most of it are not interesting because it only reuses the same levels and it gets boring over time it's not that rewarding either the game was also stuck at 30 fps which it should not be since it's a fast paced game it doesn't make sense this also causes some screen tearing which can be really annoying sometimes the game also suffers from loading screens from time to time one of the momentum stoppers of this game is that it constantly loads from le one level to another. Come on, you can do better than this, devs. The soundtrack for this game is awesome, it's fitting for its fast-paced style. I really am hyped when playing this game. It is also made by Akira Yamaoka, who is best known for his music in Silent Hill series. Dialogues are above average and it is well-spoken. It is also filled with one-liners and dark comedy, as expected by a Suda51 game. Last but not the least is the replay value. I must say, there's not much of a content after you finish the main missions of the game unless you want to spend time on completing the challenges and side missions so you can unlock more costumes or lingerie cause you know, Pervert loves doing just that. The main story runs from 6 hours to 8 hours depending on your pace. On PC, there's a new difficulty which is called Nightmare. It has harder AI and harder ways to kill them. You might as well try it if you you want to play the main story again so my verdict for this game is story 70 out of 100 the graphics 88 out of 100 gameplay 80 out of 100 sounds 82 out of 100 replay value 65 out of 100 overall it's 77 out of 100 as my first to the 51 game i was shocked of how bizarre this game gets and it mind blew me every time because there's always something new in the table the episodes are enjoyable to play, grinding enemies also satisfying despite of its simplistic combat system, boss battles are all exciting since they are all unique and very well made, the graphics was certainly spectacular for a $20 game. You can only see a few games that try to have surreal graphics and level design. Sadly, the game's weaknesses are from its lack losing story and boring side missions and challenges. It also hurt that it's locked at 30 FPS and its recurrent screen tearing and loading tearing can be sometimes bothersome. The game is filled with randomness. I mean, there's a damn unicorn! 10 out of 10 would play, right? But seriously, the game is really enjoyable but I'd only recommend it if it's on sale as it doesn't really have much content after the main missions. That's all for Killer is Dead, hope you enjoy watching. Hey guys, so thank you guys for watching and hope you like this review video. This is my first time for a long time <laughs> to make a review. I've been doing reviews since I was a kid, I think 2009, then I stopped suddenly because there's PS3 and I still have PS2. That kinda sucks, right? <laughs> and hopefully, I will make more like a monthly or weekly, hopefully, for reviews. And yeah, if you like this video, please do like it and share it to your friends. If you dislike it, then go ahead, dislike it, criti criticize my work, as I will make better content if you criticize it, because that also motivates me. Anyway, subscribe, like, and favorite and share this video like me on my facebook page like follow me on twitter add me on steam anywhere you want me to add <laughs> and yeah you can pm me for more for requests to review video i i don't know if you want it so yeah, thank you guys for watching bye